you've been paying attention to my recent video, you see that I had a different background. Well, that's because we upgraded to a shop. Well, we acquired, we're now renting a shop, and that's where all my footage has been recorded on in the past couple of videos. Some of you actually caught on, caught on, so kudos to you. But yes, let me give you a quick tour of the shop. So this is a 1500 square foot shop. There's wind blowing. I think the mic is a little messed up, so hopefully you can hear me well. So it's a 1500 square foot shop. I don't know the square footage exactly per what is warehouse and what is office, but I can just tell you that the office is 10 by 10. There's also a restroom, so that's gonna subtract from the warehouse space. So usually for, you know, you have warehouse and then you have um, office space. So in total, it's 1500. I can tell you the exact square footage of what the actual warehouse square footage is. So this is the entrance of the warehouse. Now again, the Initially, the office was going to be eight by eight, but I wanted a bit more room, so I, I, they moved it to 10 by 10. Now, it's cool that there's more office space now. The bad side to that, or the other side of the coin, if you may, is that now this was pushed two feet forward as well. So, it's a little tighter fit here on the entrance. Um, it, it's it's seven feet wide of space that we have now i, I want to say most vehicles will be okay but i feel like even a foot more in would have a lot more space and make life much easier getting through here but you know I, I needed more office space so it was you know it was give or take so it, we, we should still be good with this entrance here and over here we have a wild lex in the window so this is obviously a window to the office um I, you know could I have gotten a, a smaller office? Yes, but because most of the time, most of the work that I'm gonna be doing, if not all the work that I'll be doing will be in that office, I needed to have just a little bit more space to have the podcast, to have a little bit of the merch in there, to uh, just be able to do more things that requires an office space. Um, this, When you're getting a unit, um, it's very important to just ask every single question. And if they are doing a build out, make sure, like. You have to run through every as many scenarios through your head that you can of as far as what you need here, right? It's not about just saying, "Oh, there's a, there's a uh, uh, an available unit. Oh, I'll just take it," right? Like, don't be so abrupt to sign on a unit. Uh, make sure you inspect everything, or at least ask the questions to the whoever, the whatever manager, to see what they have, what they don't have, what you're allowed, what you're not allowed. Because I've heard, so, I you know, I did my research too. And you know, it's like, hey, can you paint the walls? Do you have to paint it back when you when you're gonna uh, vacate the, the the unit? Do you have? Can you um, can you put stuff on the wall? Like, can you drill holes into the wall? Can you drill holes into the floor? Is there a septic tank? Can you run water? Is there a spigot nearby? Is, does each unit have a spigot? Is if the AC breaks, who fixes it? If I move in and the AC breaks in under one week, who fixes it? Is there gonna be a toilet? Does the toilet work? If it doesn't work, who fixes it? Is it you or is it me? Is there gonna be a mirror? Does the water? Is there hot or cold water? Is it? Ask every single question because you are responsible for knowing what's gonna take place with that unit, right? So you don't jump into a unit just because I, I can afford it. Yeah, let's go. No, 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 no. Very bad move. Take it slow. Ask your questions. You do do your due diligence and make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. Now this is where you walk in from the front door. You know, you could say this is kind of a lobby or a waiting area. Do we expect customers to be waiting here at the shop? No, but if, they, if need be, there are some chairs. It is a separated area from the office, from the shop. So it's cool that we have that. Again, I requested this in the build outs when I was talking to the property manager. So again, it goes back to make sure you ask all your questions. See if, if you are getting a build out, you know, try to have it to your specs in terms of like how you'd want it built out. And the bigger the shop, the bigger the, the, the square footage, the more flexibility you have of what you can build out. Meaning if I wanted a office that was 14 by 12, right? That's a no go whatsoever because there's just not enough space. And the property manager is thinking, okay, once this person leaves after three years, I have to have the shop set up to where the next person can roll in immediately with minor changes. Um, so if they come accommodate me for a 12 by 14 for my needs, but then the next person is like, dude, I don't need 12 by 14. I just need, I don't need any office, you know? So they, they try to build a unit to where it, it fits your needs, but it's also ready to go to the next person. Um, the bigger the shop, the bigger the warehouse, the more flexibility you do have in terms of if you wanted a, I'm making up numbers, if it's a 4,000 square foot shop and you wanted, uh, you know, uh, 600 square feet of that, well, they're more likely to build that out for you because there's just more space. Um, it's for, for every 
unit that you look at, it's going to be different. The rates are going to be different. The, what they're willing to accommodate is going to be different. So every single unit you look at will be different and it's very important for you to do your due diligence to make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. I, I'm not going to stress that enough. You have to do your due diligence to know and understand what you're gonna get yourself into before you sign a three to five year lease. And here is where you have your kitchenette slash lounge slash break room slash inventory room slash the only other corner in this warehouse that would be used. So again, the thought process behind the shop isn't to you know, spec everything out and, and make this home and this is our headquarters for the next five years. No, so my in, the, in, the main intention with this shop is to get the cars that require two days of correction um, or at least longer periods of time. Primarily it's going to be corrections and coatings, um, but also for vehicles that require odor removal, we'll bring them here uh, because those two take longer, but obviously paint correction and coatings, those take two-ish days. So we'll bring those vehicles here. We're still gonna be 100% mobile, right? We're still gonna do all our full interior cleaning, washing waxes and all that jazz out in the field. But when it comes for the more extensive or longer duration of vehicles of time, um, they'll be brought to the shop. So with the vaccines, like we're not gonna deck it out. We're not gonna like, oh, this is home. This is, realistically speaking, right? Ideally speaking, I would like to be added here in less than a year, right? Because like, yeah, it's a great shop. Like, granted, like if I remove the gym out the way, I'd have more space and and whatever, whatever, right? But it's it's a small shop, okay? Fifteen hundred square foot square feet compared to a home garage, absolutely ginormous. So much more room. You can fit any car through the through the bay. You have plenty of room, right? But to keep on growing, uh, this is I, I I personally what I what I would feel more comfortable with, right? What I would feel more comfortable with. What what I would want. It's somewhere around the 3,000 foot, 3,000 feet foot, 3,000 foot, around the 3,000 feet, 3,000 foot square foot shop, right? Around the 3,000, 1,500. If we add more shelves, here, let me move this camera. Hopefully I am not overexposed here. If we add more shelves and such, right? If we, if we add, we have this one and then we add a, a, a five tier shelf, right? And then um, whatever, we get like another extractor for the, this is tilted. Let's see here, hopefully I'm not too ugly for you guys. And we get a, um, and we get like a dedicated extractor for the shop, right? We're, th this, what would be, whatever, however, however many feet, like it gets, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And if it's a completely empty shop, yes, you can fit maybe three, four cars. If it's all empty, there's no shelving, there's no bathroom over there. Um, you, could, you could probably fit three or four cars. Seeing that you want shelves, you need to add stuff, you need to build things out, it's going to get cluttered. Now I know if, you know, this is a good enough shop, but where we wanna go, what our plans for the next two, three years, it's not staying here at this 1500 square foot shop. So that's why like, we are gonna do a few upgrades, like we are gonna get a dedicated vacuum air compressor, put those on reel somewhere on the wall. Um, we, we might, depending on how things go over the next few months, we might, a very big might, like I'm not putting any weight to it yet, but we might get another like we might get the hp60 spider and leave it in here and then get a grand a mighty a mighty grand pricks pricks picks a mighty grand grand picks pricks and put that in the mobile van that way we have a dedicated setup over here and a dedicated setup in the van because ideally we want to have both the mobile schedule booked out and we want to have the shop schedule booked out Simultaneously, we want three, four cars out in the field every day. We want, you know, one or two cars in the shop every day because, you know, the services, they take a little longer, more extensive, higher ticket. Um, but that's what, we want, that's what we want to go for over the next 12 months. But this is what you've been seeing if you've been paying attention to the videos, is this backside. So yes, I also have a mini gym here in the back of the warehouse. Now, again, you could say, well, Oscar, if you didn't have your gym in there, you'd have more space to fit more cars and you wouldn't have to move to a 3,000 square foot shot. Well, you know what? The cool thing of when you become your own boss and you can control your own life and you can do the work that you want and create the lifestyle that you want is you can add a gym in the back of the warehouse if you want to. Like, it, that, and that's what I'm getting at. Like, could I, could I have not gotten, could I have not put a, a, a mini gym here? Of course, I could have kept it like somewhere, right? But I don't wanna do that. Like, I, I'm able to do this, right? So, like, in my head, right, me, Oscar, as in the person that I am, right, 
I could either say, ooh, you know what? I want more space, so I'm not gonna put the, the gym there. Or I could say, how about I put the gym, we work, we come up with a plan, we make money, we strategize, we, we execute, we, we, we follow a plan, and then we're able to upgrade to a bigger shop. That way, the, the gym isn't a problem, right? So a lot of problems that you have in your business, in your life, like uh, the thing that Lex and I say all the time is, you know what it is, dog? We just need more customers and more money, right? Now, granted, that's not like the end all be all, right? Like you could, if depending on how efficient or non-efficient that your business is running, you could get more customers, more money, and still not make a profit or still go out of business. So yes, to just say you just need more customers, more money is not always the answer. But that's just what I always tell Lex. Like if, if, if we wanted the bigger van or we wanted a bigger, a more polishers, or if we want, you know, whatever the case may be, I always just say, hey, look, we just need to make more money, right? That's just a very diluted, watered down, like simplistic form of, of giving an answer. But it goes, but you know, I, I go to that, like, dude, like, you know, we can, we can, we can move this around, we can, we can move that around, I, I, I can remove this. But, but at the end of it, look, instead of trying to, you know, kind of co contract yourself and say, oh, well, can, can we do like a little move here, a little move there? Instead, can we just not take bigger leaps forward and say, dude, instead of 15, why don't we go to a 3,000, right? Instead of, a little HHR, why don't we get what is something a little bigger, right? It's just, can we just take more action and, and, and execute on our game plan to get better results, right? Like, and people will be like, oh, well, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. He, he's wasting money. He could just get a home garage and, you know, save all that money and, and keep more money in his pocket. Look, I'm trying to build an organization here, right? We want to build an actual company. We want more employees. We want to not have to be out there on the field every single day working eight, nine, 10 hours for the next 10 years. We don't want that, okay? We do not want that. We do not plan to do that. So that's why we do this. I'm not saying you, I'm not saying it's wrong if anyone else is. I'm just saying how we look at things is like, like we're not trying to do the same thing just us two for the next five years scrubbing tires and whatever like we want to build an organization so it costs money so same thing actually same thing with the van if you saw the video on where we were we bought a new van is he knew about the van he knew the exact unit that we were looking at as far as the van but he didn't know i acquired it and then i you know showed up to his house same thing with the warehouse he didn't know i got it until like three days after I got the keys for the warehouse. So again, I, I, I just kind of surprised, I didn't record any of it because that's a whole different story, like how I got everything set up. But um, yeah, he also didn't know about this one. Anyway, so how do you think about the, what do you think about the shop? For you, like you, like this is, uh, how, how, do, how, do, how do you feel about the shop? This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to start crying. Yeah, uh, yeah, I did not think we would make it to the shop uh, this soon. Yeah, this is it's pretty incredible. Yeah, so so a, a big thing is like it's not I'm not by no means are we saying that we just got cash throwing left and right, but it's like I I, I tell Lex quite often like dude like we're taking calculated risks, right? Every at this point every, everything is a calculated risk. Not even at this point. Throughout everything, it's always a calculated risk, right? So if you're just looking to start your business, you're not like you know what. I believe myself. I have faith, you know, uh, faith of a mustard seed. I'm just, I'm, I'm going to quit my job. I'm going to go get a loan and I'm going to go do this, you know, full speed ahead. No, that's, 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 that's a risky move. You, you don't do that, right? A calculated risk is saying, okay, I see how many numbers we have. I see what we could do if we get a shop and we're able to allocate some of those customers over here and we still, we're still fully booked out on mobile. So you get, I, I get to see, it's a much more calculated risk in terms of I'm assessing the damage. How bad can it get? If it gets to that bad, how can we weather that storm? and get back on track. So by no means was this like an impulse, whatever decision, it was a calculated risk. And I come to find whenever we do try to plan some things out, like a schedule and stuff, it pretty much just holds us back from doing anything at all. To as whenever we just say, all right, let's just do it, see how it goes. Then we get to see how we can plan after that. Then we never really see how to do things. But yeah, most of the time, man, I don't look like I know what I'm doing. But. Yeah, that's, that, and that's the thing, like, I, I know you see us on YouTube and you're like, wow, look, they, dude, I, we really don't, like, a lot of the decisions that we make the, 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 that you guys see and you're like, oh, that's so cool. It's like, dude, just try it out and see what happens. Like, honestly, it's, that's a big thing. Like, we don't, don't try to go into whatever you're doing with this, like, ABC one, two, three plan because it's not going to go the way it goes, right? Lex like, hey, this vehicle, like, what do you think about that? I'm like, dude, just quote it. I don't know. Like, it might, we, we're going to underquote it. Just, we'll just go do it, right? Plenty, not plenty of times, but enough to, there's like, it's, it's not, it's not uncommon, but not frequent where like we price a new, uh, like a new vehicle that we've never done or like a, new, a weird job 
and I'm like, dude, it does just just charge just charge whatever, right? We'll, we'll see how it goes, and after that one, we'll get a better calculation of what we should price it, right? What's the what's the one that we have right now? The the Mercedes. We have a Mercedes uh, lounge. Mercedes Air Lounge, right? Air, Airstream, Airstream. Airstream Lounge, lounge right? Which is basically like a, a one bedroom apartment, but in a van. <laughs> and they're asking us to clean the interior and then a wash, right? That that'd be our first one. We haven't done a vehicle that big. Yeah. Are we gonna underquote it? I don't know. Are we gonna overquote? Probably not. So, and it's like I, I, I'm not worried about this one tiny event that we might underquote a little bit. Like, let's just go. Let's, let's give them a quote. Let's see what's fair, what's not. Once we go do it, and we're like, ooh, this was too cheap. On the next vehicle that we do, we'll better price it. So that's yeah. uh, you, you just gotta go with the go, go with the flow, right? You, you can't have a too predetermined set path that you want to take because I can guarantee you, without a shadow of a doubt, that the very next day that you have, you try to execute that plan. Something's not gonna go your way. Now, please disregard the little bit of a mess that we have here, but this is going to be the office. Uh, over here to my left, I have the um, uh, a rack for the merch. Uh, this will be my primary desk. I still have to, I, I need to bring over my 30, 34 or 32 inch curved monitor. We haven't got Wi Fi installed. I, it's been such a pain with AT&T to try to get Wi Fi over here. They've postponed it twice. It's taken over almost two weeks now, and I'm still waiting to get Wi Fi installed over here. Um, so no Wi-Fi yet, um, but this is the office again. This is where I'm gonna spend most of my time when I'm not out in the field or helping them in the shop. Like it's gonna be here, creating podcasts, going live, YouTube, editing YouTube videos, editing podcasts. Most of the all, all the computer work will be done here. So um, it has an AC unit. I don't know if you can see in the video, but it has an AC unit. Um, but other than that, it's just a, 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 a area with four walls. And when we get Wi-Fi. You know, that's all I really need. Alright, so there's also a restroom to my right. I'm not gonna show you that, it's kinda weird, but it's it. Toilet, sink, hot water, cold water. No mirror yet, so I'll have to get one installed. Um, but other than that, I'll leave the video right here. I will be making, like, a, I don't know about a series, but I'll make more videos on this topic because I, there, it's very easy to make a wrong mistake in terms of, how, like, signing a lease that is like completely not in your favor or you know maybe trying to have a better understanding of when to get a shop based on your finances finances i said finances finances um so i'll, I'll make a lot more content around the shop as well um so yeah that's it got any shop um I, before we even got it i'm like dude 1500 square feet is not a lot hopefully under a year we can get and i point over here because there's an adjacent unit or well, there's a unit right here that's 3,000 square feet and that's where it starts to feel more comfortable where you actually have space you can set up a wash bay you can see you can set up a a, a clean bay um you can have uh, uh whatever you have way more flexibility in a bigger shop so leave your comments down below let me know and i'll talk to you on the next one